Hello and welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran and this is my place to talk about weight loss, life, fitness, getting fit, being the best version of me possible. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy what you see and that you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and become an interactive part of my life because it really does help me and I hope it can help you become the best you possible also. So this week actually was busy in some regards. On Saturday, we actually went and ran errands all day long and we wanted to get outside and stretch our legs, but we were running out of time. So we went down to the Potomac River, explored a little bit and just got outside for just a few minutes. Uh-huh. What was it? On Sunday, we decided that we were going to go hiking. So we headed off to the Appalachian Trail, and I've actually talked about that in a recent video. I'll put the link in the description below. And we had a great time. However, we did get a little overheated, and we were really, really thirsty because we ran out of water. We were only planning on hiking for about three hours, and we ended up being out there for about five. So we ran out of water and it was a good hike. I ended up taking some walks at lunchtime. Take two, the first time, talked into the camera, walking down the road and apparently I didn't turn it on. Hmm, not, she's brilliant. It is my lunchtime. I am walking down to the community center to the Amazon locker so I can pick up Jason's birthday gifts which are in the locker that I ordered and I'll be able to get them home and get him all wrapped up so he won't know what he gets until he opens the gifts. I am trying to walk today on my lunch break to stretch out my legs which are really stiff from a five hour hike yesterday and just trying to take it easy on my heel but the plantar fasciitis is really kicking something fierce and I've got it wrapped with KT tape. I've been trying to roll it. And I've been actually trying to wear the brace that they say to wear at night while I'm at work. Um, we'll see what's happening. And oh yeah, I don't wear it at night because I can't sleep with it on. It drives me nuts. But it's not too bad during the day. So that's where I'm at. Working to keep my food in check this week. It'll be difficult because I do have a birthday boy in the house. And might make a little cake for him. We shall see. And I watched my weight. It went up. It was moving. I was thinking it was water retention. <laughs> I don't know. So here we are. It is Tuesday. And we had a really long hike on Sunday. And when I say really long, I mean we hiked for five hours. It was difficult. I got home and I was ravenous. I ate dinner and I just could not get enough food. I still did not go crazy with my eating. Yes, I ate more than my 1300, right? But I hiked for five hours. And I would still say that 17 to 1800 calories is still pretty good for hiking for five hours. So I was worried about my scales on Monday morning and they were showing myself right in line for what I was on Sunday when I weighed in. And Tuesday rolled around and the scales, boom, boom, right on up and showed me up at about one to two pounds higher than I was on Sunday and Monday. Really? This is so frustrating. I just want to scream. I'm trying to tell myself that it will all right itself out because number one, we accidentally let ourselves I'm trying to not panic and I'm trying to tell myself that, okay, a lot of this is probably water retention because, well, we did accidentally run out of water in a really hot hike and I know I was somewhat dehydrated. So I'm hoping that that will help. I also know that my calves are really sore from this hike and I know that when your muscles are sore, they will retain water 
and that also counts as water retention. So I'm hoping that things will right themselves. I'm trying to not be discouraged and run to the kitchen and eat. Who knows? It's a journey. It's a real hard journey. But I'm Tuesday into it. I'm also worried about the rest of the week because tomorrow is Jason's birthday and I am planning on making him a cake. And will I be able to resist birthday cake? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm going to try to have a little small piece. Small. Small. And we are also going to be off on Friday and that makes three days of weekend and we have some plans to go away and do some things and I'm just kind of worried about my eating but here we go let's go with it and then we had Jason's birthday so I did make a cake for his birthday and I did have some chocolate cake with chocolate icing for his birthday and my weight held steady this week and that's about all I can expect because I did eat birthday cake and I actually am weighing in early just because of the fact that it is a going to be a long weekend for us and I don't know what we're going to do we were originally going to go hiking in the Shenandoah National Park but it is supposed to be rainy all weekend long so I don't know what's happening so I'm just going to go ahead and call this week a maintain because things just pretty much stayed the same. It went up, but it kind of regulated again. And that's okay because it is a birthday week. Now this little trip away is going to be difficult because a little bit of traveling, but I'm going to do the best that I can. And when we get back, I'm going to get just hot on the trail and start getting this weight off again because I'm tired of being fat. So, thanks for joining me. It's kind of an unconventional little weigh-in report. Since I'm way early in my time frame, I usually weigh in on Fridays, and right now it's actually only Thursday, but it's all good. So, be the best you you can be. No excuses.